Trevor took the world by storm with his comedy, but is his love life the price he pays for success? Turns out, this comedy legend has had quite a few high-profile relationships, and we're here to spill the tea on all the romance, breakups, and everything in between. Welcome back to Lux Life. We're giving you some different flavor today since we already spoke about Trevor's expensive tastes. If you missed that video, be sure to check it out. But today's story is about a different side of his Lux life. A side that so many of us are dying to know about. His love life. Did you know all of his breakups happened because of his career? Trevor's first high-profile relationship was with Danny Gabriel, a successful essay-based physiotherapist and musician. Rumor has it the former pair had known each other for like four years before they started dating. Then, in early 2014, love blossomed and they quickly became smitten with each other. By this time, Trevor had already cemented himself as Mzansi's favorite funny guy. He was booking comedy shows and skits around the globe. He also started making his debut on The Daily Show as a recurring contributor. That's why he and Danny got to travel the world together. She was by his side as he toured and made his impression on international turfs. These two were so cute together. Danny and Trevor weren't shy to show off their love for each other. They often took adorable pictures together, like selfies with funny faces or photos of the places they visited. Trevor also bought a home in Cape Town to be closer to his love. Did someone say couple goals? There were even rumors that the two got engaged. But uh-oh, it seems the comedy limelight brought both love and heartbreak for Trevor. In mid-2015, he got offered the gig of a lifetime, hosting The Daily Show in the US of A. But that meant leaving behind his South African bae, who had her own thriving physiotherapy practice back home. Long distance just didn't work out for these lovebirds. But hey, no hard feelings here. Danny showed her support for Trevor's big move on Twitter, saying, I knew you had it in you, and they saw it too. Now the world gets to share it. Couldn't be prouder. Aww, ain't that sweet. No bad blood, just a loving farewell. Life moves on. And so, Noah set off on his journey to become one of the highest paid talk show hosts of his time. That brings us to relationship number two. Shortly after moving to New York City, the comedian met former singer and model Jordan Taylor. They met at one of Trevor's comedy gigs, but that's all we know about the meet cute. After being friends for some time, they started dating. Jordan even moved from California to the Big Apple just to be with her boyfriend. How cute. These two were red carpet royalty, and boy, did they make heads turn at the 2018 MTV Movie Awards. Their love story seemed like a fairy tale, and fans couldn't help but ship them to the moon and back. The rose-colored glasses shattered in 2018 when tabloids reported about their split. Jordan confirmed the news in January of the next year. A fan asked about the breakup, to which she replied, Of course I love him. How could you not love him? I love him so much. But you guys should know we broke up this past summer. But yeah, I love him. Till now, we don't know why they broke up. But from Trevor's previous experience, it could have been because of his work. Noah always put himself in his career first. He once told the story about an ex-girlfriend from before his fame. He admitted that this ex tried to stop him from going into comedy. When Noah first expressed interest in the career change, she said, You're not that funny. Don't be stupid. Harsh. He was young and in love, so Trevor agreed and held off. Then, after they broke up, he thought it would be the perfect time to do everything he couldn't do when he was with her, like date other girls and do comedy. So that's what Trevor did. While becoming a world-renowned comedian, Noah got to know some of the most beautiful women who also appreciate his sense of humor, like Minka Kelly. She's an American actress that you might know from shows like Euphoria and Titans. In August 2020, the pair got to know each other and started dating. A month after the romance was confirmed, the actress was spotted taking some luggage to Trevor's New York City apartment. Insiders told tabloids that even though it was early stages, Trevor and Minka were serious about their relationship. So much so that in December of that year, Noah bought a $27.5 million ballet mansion for him and Kelly to live in. After purchasing the estate, rumors started that Trevor would finally settle down with Minka. An anonymous source shared, they're making plans for a future together. And it's a very stable relationship. But real Trevor Noah fans took that information with a pinch of salt. We know how our boy feels about romance and marriage. He's not one to rush into things. It's not that Trevor is against marriage and commitment. He just thinks that couples shouldn't live together, even if they are married. 
I think one of the biggest reasons people get divorced is because of this cohabiting bullshit that we've come to believe is the way relationships are supposed to be. That said, Noah shouldn't have just bought the mansion for a relationship. He has a habit of buying properties, renovating them and selling them at a markup. That's exactly what he did with his Bel Air home. By October 2021, he had it listed on the market for around $30 million. Besides, by May of 2021, he and Minka had broken up. The A-listers kept the details of the breakup private. But when we all found out about it, they were both vacationing it up. No heartbreak, just vibes. Minka enjoyed a trip to Mexico while Trevor spent some time soaking up the Miami sun. Their first breakup didn't last long. In the same month, they reunited and took a trip to St. Bart's. The Caribbean island is known for its white sand beaches and designer shops like Louis Vuitton and Dior. Why? Because luxury goods are tax-free there. So if you want designer at lower prices, you know where to go. Some trip advisors estimate that a week at St. Bart's could cost around $8,000 for a couple, if you budget wisely. Who knows how much a famous actress and the highest paid talk show host of his time spent on their getaway. The luxury vacation seemed to mend things between Trevor and Minka. They were on again, and news spread that they were working on their relationship. They were also spotted walking dogs and looking cute all the time. At this point, we started second-guessing what Trevor said about living with someone you're romancing. They even went Instagram official for the 2022 New Year. Listen, that was a big deal for a guy who was trying to keep his love life on the down low, especially after his past high-profile dating experiences. But sadly, Trevor and Minka broke up again, and this time it was, and we quote, official. At the time, tabloids claimed he was too focused on work and didn't have enough time for a relationship. Well, he was preparing to leave The Daily Show, and his next adventure would be touring the world with his comedy shows again. It makes sense that Trevor couldn't have a long-distance romance for so long. Even though it seemed Noah put in the grind to make this relationship work, he left Minka with no regrets and little heartbreak. A few months later, he went on the rebound. Fans went wild when they first saw pics of him cozying up with pop sensation Dua Lipa. But that was just a one-time thing, an indication that Noah is Mr. Moving On. But what about now? Since then, Trevor's been a free bird, enjoying the single life and touring the world with his hilarious jokes. Will he reignite that spark with Minka when the time is right? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Are they destined to be together? In the meantime, our boy Trevor continues to crack us up on stage, bringing laughter to audiences across the globe. Sure, he may not have found the one just yet, but hey, that's no biggie. Trevor's got love all around him, from his family, friends, and his dedicated fans, of course. Until he finds his comedy queen, he's gonna keep living the Lux life to the fullest. That's it for this episode of The Lux Life. Join us again next time when we'll be looking at another who's who. Like and subscribe. See ya!